Hey everybody, John from Slash Bash coming at you with another Choosing Beggar Reddit video. In our first story, a choosing beggar who got some pictures taken has a choice of paying for them or having them deleted forever. For the record, they were deleted. Let's jump right in. Hey buddy, hope the pictures were okay. Just let me know which ones you want to keep. Ping me a tenner for each one and I'll send you the original without the watermark. Yo mate, why do the pictures have your name on them? Can you take it off? Thanks. That's the watermark, so you can choose the ones you want. Just a copy protection thing, standard practice. Okay, can you take them off? They're right in the middle of the pic, so I can't put them on my page because they look weird. The inventor of the watermark rests happily in his grave. Sorry, man. I don't want to be a blank about it. It's just that I sort of count on the money I make for headshots to save towards my video gear and music stuff. You said 10 quid for the pictures. Yeah, 10 for each of the pictures you wanted to use. I didn't ask for anything up front until you'd seen the pictures and could tell me which ones you liked best. I'll optimize the pictures and adjust levels to how you want them, all part of the service. I thought you were just giving them to me though. Cause you sent them all, then they had your name on. Right, we're sort of going round in circles, aren't we? I sent them watermarked and you can choose the ones you want and delete the rest. But when you sent them, I was excited cause I thought it was all of them free. No, I'm a bit dopey, but I'm a bit brighter than that. But I thought they were free. Just curious. If you thought that they were the complete photos, then would you still have offered to pay for them? Lol, no. Sucks to be you. Seriously? Lol, dunno. So can I have them free? They aren't even that good. They don't look like me. What? Look, no, sorry, but I'm not giving you them for free. Whatever, I'm just gonna take the name off them. I know someone with Photoshop. Good luck with that. Let me know how much they want for doing that for you. Give you five pounds for them. Let me guess. The Photoshop bloke laughed at you and said you should just pay for the pictures. What the flip? Who said that? You're spying on me. He messaged me. My email address and profile are included on my watermark. He said he told you he won't remove someone's copy protection and just to pay me as it's easier anyway. Five pounds. Be good for you anyway, cause people will see your crappy pics and think they're better, cause they're on a comedian page. Pics are crappy anyway. I hate to do this as I've already taken this much time out to take and send the pictures, but I'm actually done. I wanted to help you out as you're my brother's friend, but this is a massive ball leg. I'm deleting the pictures on Friday. You have until then to decide if you want to pay for any. If you're deleting, can I just have them then? Hello? I don't have money because my kids need it. Can I have pics? It's Friday morning. I'm deleting the pictures and blocking you at noon today. Last chance. Lol, you won't really. Story 2 brings us a choosing beggar business owner whose entrepreneurial spirit has him give his customers free vouchers for another company's sports event. Then when there are problems, calls the company to complain. So the company I work for did a customer appreciation night for any of our customers who were interested with free tickets to a game with the local sports team. We had vouchers that delivery guys would give upon request but we also emailed a copy to our regular customers so they could print it out. We made it clear it was a voucher, but it could be turned in at the box office. We told everyone it didn't guarantee them a spot, so they should go before the night of the game to make sure they could get the seats they wanted. They were good seats too, lower level, so the night of, a ton of people showed up, voucher in hand, expecting to get in like they were regular tickets, the arena did their best to honor them, but sure enough, there weren't enough seats, or some people couldn't get seats together. 
So then, in a generous move, the arena starts handing out tickets to future games. They largely keep people handy. We also reached out leading up to the event to the contractor that runs the concession stands to tell them that it was going to be packed. But they don't want to pay for more staff, so there are lines 50 to 60 deep at every stand. It was kind of a cluster flip, but most people were at worst a little annoyed, but largely cool. So the next morning, the choosing beggar calls started. Just mostly people telling us they were either turned away or indignant at the long lines, or pissed they didn't get as good a seat as others, the usual stuff. But one stood out. One guy called us to chew us out, saying he had printed off a bunch of those vouchers to hand out to his customers, apparently telling them they were actually tickets guaranteeing seats, and he wanted to tell us how terrible we were to make him look bad in front of his customers. I guess he may have been responsible for a significant portion of our overrun. The owner of my company wound up taking that call. Wish I could have heard, but then again, he always leads by example customer service wise, so probably no real fireworks. But really, how do you invite your customers to someone else's event and play it off like you're one of the sponsors? In our final story, a choosing beggar musician is shocked when a music producer has the audacity to want to charge him for work. Dort Backstory Years ago, a prog rock band asked me to record vocals for a 15 minute long song of their second album. Fast forward several years and I'm now doing pro work for large companies. One morning, I get this message. If it had been my mistake, I'd have done it for free, but it wasn't. And I've never received royalties from my work on their first album, so here you go. Help, 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 help. I know I've been a bad boy not keeping in touch, but can I ask you a massive favor, please? What kind of favor? Remember the really long prog song I sent? Yeah? The last part, I sent you the wrong bloody lyrics. Only the last verse, though. That was a long time ago. Yeah, it was. But you don't want to hear the band trauma. But we are now ready and things are really moving in the right direction. Would you do the last verse if I send? Please, 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 please. The whole thing will be really weird if you're not on part three. Let me think about it. I have to teach today and I just woke up. I don't even remember the song and I don't know if the project was on my old laptop or not. It'll be harder to do quickly if it is. I have had to stop doing free projects, but I can't really think well on four hours of sleep. Okay, hopefully you can. The new records sound amazing, keys and everything, and it's just two lines. What's the song? Blank? Yeah. Okay, I'll try to take a look at it later this week. I have to get ready for school. Okay, I'll send it to you. You rock, buddy. I didn't say yes. I really can't do free work anymore. I have a session fee now. So how much for two lines? $200. You're kidding, right? No. So you want to charge me $200 for two lines? Yes. Unbelievable. What happened to you? I became a professional. We all are, but there is a thin line, which I fear you just crossed. Don't worry, I will re-record the verse, and yes, you will receive royalties, but I won't ask you again. Okay. Because I'm a nice person like you used to be. I'm sorry you see it that way, but it has nothing to do with that. This is what my time and talents are worth. It is not mean to charge for my work and earn a living, and any true professional has no problem discussing numbers without personal attacks. If you're going to cast me as some kind of moral villain for quoting my fee, 
then you're not as professional as you say you are. This is my fee. You can choose to hire me or not. Either is fine with me. This is what people are willing to pay me. I'm not sure why you think you deserve a favor for a collab we did ages ago, but my life has changed since then, and you need to respect that. I have clients, and I need to spend my time wisely. I simply don't have time for free work anymore. Nobody denies that, and if you remember, which is something you clearly don't, we discussed the possibility of you receiving royalties for the work that you did for us. I do not appreciate your accusation that I am not a professional when it is clearly you that is acting in this way. I did not and have never asked you to work for free. The proviso of your first work with us was based upon royalty sales. When and if these are forthcoming from Blank and our new label, you will receive a fair percentage as discussed. As mentioned though, your memory appears to be short. This has been John from Slash Bash. Thanks for watching. If you've enjoyed the video and want to see more of them, then please hit the subscribe button. We'd love for you to drop a like and share it with your friends, and we will see you in the next one.